Hey guys, what's up? This is Mark, and uh, I just added this guy, I, I, I followed this guy on Facebook called John Buck Fitness Motivator, and like, he's very good at like, you'll see, ready? Hey everyone, I wanted to put this out there real quick. Something's kind of bothering me, it's on my mind, and... I've been flooded with messages, as I've told you many times, of praise, kudos, thank yous, this, that, and the other, which I am entirely grateful for, don't get me wrong. All right, but look, there's something you'll need to understand you need to realize. Do not put me on a pedestal up here, okay? Don't, don't make me out to be some kind of patron saint of motivation or some kind of public figure that is like just, just, I'm not some kind of great, inspiring person. I'm right there with you in the trenches. The only thing is, I, vo I speak my mind. That's it. That's all I do. My point is this, though. You need to take credit for yourself. Don't give it to me. All right? I just took a little fire and gave it to you. That's all I did. I gave you a little motivation. I said, here, here you go. Get off your ass and go fucking do something. That's all I did. I don't. It takes a physical movement to put the remote control down. Get up and go outside to the gym. I wasn't there for that. You did that, not me. So don't give me credit for that. You can thank me all you want. John, it's, it's, it's because of you. No, it's because of you. You got up and you went out and you did it. It had nothing to do with me. I'm just the one that said, wake the fuck up and go out and chase the dreams. Go out and chase what you want to do and what you want to be. And the reason I'm saying this is it builds self-confidence. Don't give me that. Don't give me your self-confidence. You keep it. This whole bullshit about I look up to this, 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 this. Fuck no. I accomplished where I am the, now because of me getting up and doing it. Sure, certain people had influences on me, but they did not physically pick me up and pull me along with them. I did it myself. Now, people can call that arrogance. They can call it being conceited. I call it being confident in what you can do and yourself and your, your abilities. All right? Because in the end... It boils down to this, actions and not words. Actions, not words. So I see all these posts of people putting their arms around somebody else saying, it's because of him I am where I am today. Bullshit. It's because of you. You did the work. You put in the effort and the time. You take credit for it. You can give them thanks all you want. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't ever forget what you did. What you set out to do, your dreams, you chased them. Don't forget that. Don't humble yourself so far down that anybody can come up and make a puppet out of you. That's all I'm saying. Be confident. I don't care where you come from, your background. Look, as a child, I was bullied. I was a dork. I was a nerd. I never fit in. I dropped out at 17 to join the army because I couldn't take school anymore. I woke up every day, almost crying to my mom, don't make me go. Because I got bullied. I was different. I didn't fit in. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let people change who you are. I didn't understand just who I truly was until I hit my mid-late 20s. And then I started saying, I don't care what people think. I'll be who I want to be. And I don't care about the judgment. I don't care what people think about me. It doesn't matter. They're not living my life. And you need to be the same way. I see the pictures of y'all out there. A lot of you are overweight and you're afraid to go to the gym. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Get in there anyway and focus. Fuck the naysayers. Fuck the spectators and the critics. They don't matter. All that matters is you push yourself. Because if you want that body, if you want to accomplish that dream, it's not going to come to you and hand itself to you. You've got to look at your dreams like they're your enemies. They don't want anything to do with you. If they did, they'd just walk up and say, here you go. It's accomplished. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You got to put on your running shoes every fucking day and chase them. That's the way it works. That's the way you win in life. And no one wants to do that. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't be afraid to go to the gym. Don't be afraid to go run. It doesn't matter what people think or say. You're always going to have your critics. They will always be there trying to pull you down because they don't have the mindset that you do. They don't have that drive. And fuck them. You don't need them. I'll aspire to be everything I can be. I'll set the world on fire with motivation. It's an end arena revolution. And everyone needs to get on board with it and say, fuck the critics. They don't matter. I'll motivate life into a fucking corpse if I have to. That's the kind of dream.
tribe you gotta have. I don't care if they tell me no a million times. I'll be back at it again and again and again and again. No one will stop me. No one. <sighs> Fuck, that felt good in the arena. So you failed at something. You just you just hit the ground, okay? Your lips in the dirt, and you're feeling horrible, all right? Because you had your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations on achieving this goal that you had, all right? A champion is not defined by only by their success. They're defined by the failures they overcome to get to that success. It's too easy to smile when you're winning. But when the chips are down, what people look at the most is what you do when you failed. That's what truly makes a champion right there. That's all that matters. Yes, you are going to hit failures in life. But the thing is, you can't let that dictate and define who you are. Your failures are what motivate you to push you harder. But the people that go out there and they just sit there and they fail at something, they, try, they put their mind to and they sit there and go, oh, well, you know, it just, it wasn't meant to be. What, what kind of mentality is that? If you want to achieve, if you want to do great things in life, you can't accept what other people tell you. If a company that you want to pitch an idea to tells you no, that's fine. But I'm coming back even harder next time. If that team beats me before, I'm going to train harder. If the fighter wins, I'm going to push further and harder than before. That's all there is to it. But too often we accept failure and we say, fuck it, I'm done. Why? Then you shouldn't have even have tried. You play the game to win. That's all there is to it. There is no failure. Failure is only final if you let it be. That's the only time. But now we walk around and we just say, you know what? It, I guess it wasn't meant to be. You just didn't want it bad enough. Fuck your failure. You've got to let it sit there and light a fire inside of you. And just explode. But it's not just a one-time thing. It's every day waking up and doing the same thing over and over and over again. Like a blacksmith beating on your craft until you've got it down to a rhythm, to it's an art. But no one wants to practice. They don't want to try. They don't want to apply themselves because that fear of failure is always there. Yes, it sucks. I know. And it hurts. It hurts so fucking bad. And believe me, I've been there. I have failed so many fucking things in my life. But it's not going to define me as, as a whole, as a human being. People can talk all the shit they want. But you know what? They were standing on the sidelines. They weren't there with me when I was bleeding and sweating and crying. And pushing up that fucking mountain of life. They weren't there with me. Do not let your fears define who you are. Use them as motivation. You know how many messages I get on a daily basis by people out there saying, I'm so fucking afraid. Don't be. You're the only one holding you back. That's it. That's the only one doing it. How else are they going to physically hold you back? They can't. They can't hold you back. You're holding yourself back. And you're letting that fear define you. And it's keeping you from achieving these great things in your life. And you can do so much more, you can be so much happier. But you don't want to be. Happy, you I don't even think really want it. There was a time in your life when you may have accomplished one goal and it made you so happy. And it felt so incredible and you walked off that field feeling like somebody that mattered, like you had done something great in your life. And we forgot what that's like. Because life has come in and the failures came in and they kicked our teeth in and they put us on our knees and we just stayed there. Because it requires effort and dedication to get back up. But nobody has that anymore. Look, you got to ask yourself, what is failure going to do to you? What are you going to allow it to do to you? That's, that's it. You know, you got to keep going back after. You can't just quit. No, no successful champion, business owner, athlete, you name it. They didn't just get, you know, yes, they failed, but they didn't take it as gospel. All right, I'm going to go back and I'm going to reattack it a different way. You can't be like that, people. Fuck failure. Don't let it define you. Let the failure that you overcome define you when you eventually succeed. And you gotta see that instinct. You've got to. You gotta see. You gotta understand it. You know. Don't. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to step foot in the arena. Don't be a spectator on the sideline. You can't be like that. In the arena.